Now you have the right idea. Power armor. Only way to travel. Hey, at least it's honest work. Ammo, weapons, and messy death. I got it all. Make a move and I'll end you, Wastelander. Hey there. The only way you get old in this job is assume everyone's out to kill you. Don't eye the Brahmin if you got any sense. Too many miles on the road. At least the pay is terrible. Excuse me. Stick to the roads and you got a better chance of surviving. Hey. Hey, you were in the paper, right? You're 200 years old? Looking pretty good for your age, huh? Officer. Today's Halloween, but do we get treats? No. It's all tricks, all day. Let's see what you have. Here you are.
にしますか Do yourself a favor and just say yes. It's all he understands. Tell me a joke. 何にしますか Yes. Hey, you're that vault dweller from the paper. <clears throat> you read the paper? Damn sense. Hiding among us. You're heading outside the wall. I want to stock up at Commonwealth Weaponry first. Diamond City Surplus! Open 24 hours! Shopping at night? Diamond City surplus is always open. Dad says not to talk to strangers. Hey. Well, hello. You're that trader uh, up from Quincy? Hi. You selling any ointment? I got me this itch. Officer. You been to Good Neighbor? Friggin' Hall. Ghouls and chemheads all over. Not supposed to talk to people I don't know. Can't believe you eat that food. Only one thing worth buying in the dugout inn, and that's the booze. Man's gotta eat. What can I say? A real Diamond City boy eats at the noodle stand. Diamond City surplus is where you can sell all those scraps you've scavenged.
patient. A new file to open. Do you have a legitimate medical concern? Or is this about our facial reconstructive services? Facial reconstruction? What's that? Uh, it's Doc Crocker's specialty. If you're interested, talk to him about it. Just head through the door with our logo on it. Now, if you have an actual medical problem, speak up. I need some supplies, Doctor. Uh, let's see what I can spare. Professor, I have a new theory about how the Institute makes the synths. Oh, no. We've been talking about this, remember? After last time, the shouting, me sleeping on the cold floor of the lab for three nights. That was your choice. And seriously, growing synths from the ground using recombinant plant nuclei? I mean, how could they even... Aha! Uh you do want to talk about it. Uh, oh, look, we have a visitor. Dr. Duff, dear... If you could bother them while I walk away from this conversation. Hi there. Are you here for today's free biology lesson? Biology? No, not even. Oh, well, if you're not, um, <laughs> I guess I'll just get back to the lab then. <sighs> hey, Dr. Duff. Ready for that free biology lesson after all? Sure. Sounds fun. Yes. Love that enthusiasm. Now, we all talk about radiation like it's a single thing, but it's actually a term referring to dozens of different ionizing rays. You have X-rays, beta rays, gamma rays, but which one are we most worried about? The one most associated with the big old bombs 200 years ago. Beta rays. No, nope, not quite what we're looking for. The answer is gamma rays. Now, gamma rays are bad, really bad. If your body absorbs too much of that kind of radiation, you'll suffer from fatigue, anemia, even death. But some life forms have been living with gamma radiation exposure for two centuries now, and they've adapted. Neat, huh? Yes, very interesting. That's what science is all about. Nothing stays the same. Everything reacts. Now it's time for the field trip portion of today's lesson. Are you ready? Sign me up. You're gonna go out and find a bloat fly gland. You see, the oversized bloat fly of today evolved from an earlier species of a smaller fly. Radioactive adaptation has resulted in a unique gland that enables it to balance and maintain speed despite its size. So what do you say? Ready to go out and dissect one? Get the bloatfly gland. Got it. Remember, bring the gland back in one piece. Oh, and don't chew on it. One of the students got horribly sick because of that mistake. Dr. Duff. Dissecting a bloat fly can be fun. Just avoid getting stung to death, and you'll be a junior scientist in no time. Oh, wow. You're tall. Hi there. Hey there, lady.
Oh, uh, um... Hi. There. Travis. Don't, uh, don't, don't break my stuff, if you, uh, if you don't, if you don't mind. You and Nick are out on that case of yours, aren't you? Just make sure he comes back soon. In one piece. Miss Perkins. I heard you went to Park Station, but Nick still hasn't stopped by yet. Watch your step. Got my eye on you. Hey, officer. You need something, Scaver? No funny business. You keep looking at me like that, I'm gonna start thinking you're a simp. Don't worry. You're safe from the sins here in Diamond City. I hope. Four-hour service. Only at Diamond City Surplus. <laughs> 